Merry Christmas. Thank you for worshiping with us tonight. No matter how you're joining us, we're happy to have you as we celebrate the birth of Jesus. Today is all about how Jesus is our hope and how we have the opportunity and the privilege to be that same hope in the world. As a way to celebrate that hope, we want to give every person who worships with us a chance to be a special hope in the world. Later next week, we will be drawing five Connect cards from our Christmas Eve services and we'll be donating $100 in those individuals' names to the charity of their choice. So be sure to find the link in the Connect card in the comments and fill it out. We have a special night of reflective worship planned for you. We hope that this meditative service is a gift to you as we welcome Jesus into the world. We will begin this night by lighting the candle of Christ, which is the light that shines in the darkness with the full power of our faith. We know how real the brokenness of the world is, but we will not give brokenness the last word. We are here to celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ. And I want you to hear the greatest story ever told. Listen to these words from Luke's account of the birth. 
In those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world. This was the first census that took place while Quirinius was governor of Syria. And everyone went to their own town to register. So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea to Bethlehem, the town of David, because he belonged to the house and line of David. And he went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. And while they were there, the time came for the baby to be born. And she gave birth to her firstborn son. And she wrapped him in cloths and placed him in a manger because there was no guest room available for them. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. And an angel of the Lord appeared to them. And the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Today, in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. And this will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths lying in a manger. And suddenly, a great company of heavenly hosts appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace to those on whom his favor rests. And when the angel had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. And so they hurried off, and they found Mary and Joseph and the baby who was lying in the manger. And when they had seen him, they spread the word concerning what had been told them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds said to them. But Mary treasured up all these things and pondered them in her heart. And the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things that they had heard and seen, which were just as they had been told.
Now, one of our Christmas traditions at Woods Chapel is the walk to the manger. Just like the shepherds and wise men of old came to worship and to offer their gifts, we too take time each Christmas to offer our gifts of worship. Even though we are online, we want to honor this tradition of walking to the manger. The ways you can give are on the screen, such as the number to text or the website link. The night Jesus was born, it was a silent night. It was a holy night. It was the night that hope came to live among us. So now I want to invite you to grab your candles and light them as a symbolic way of welcoming the light and the hope of Jesus Christ into our lives as we sing Silent Night.
soul. 